1980s was the perfect time for wrestling, and I was the perfect wrestler for the 1980s. I'm the best there is! I am Ric Flair! Wrestling was my love. No one has ever done it better than a nature boy. Right life! Big cities! Pretty ladies! Nature boy! Nature Boy wasn't a wrestling character. The Nature Boy wasn't fake. The Nature Boy was me. I've sacrificed everything for wrestling. It's a blood! I pay the price! It's my life! It's my heart! It's my soul! To be the man, you gotta beat the man! And I'm saying, woo! I'm the man! I always wanted to be the man. I could never live just being a man. I gave my entire life to the wrestling business. I paid the price. I am the nature boy. As a kid, you know, it's just one of those guys you you, you love to, to love to hate. Riding in private jets, surrounded by beautiful women. Riding in limousines every night are not things that are, you know, they're not accustomed to every you know Joe Blow on the street. You either admired that or you despised that because he's rubbing it in your face, you know. And much of that's what Rick did. He rubbed it in your face. They all want to be whoo, like the nature boy, but there can only be one. And on top of all that, oh yeah, I'm the champ. When you're sitting in with your buddies, you're like, man, wouldn't that be cool if we all just travel together and, and you know, we rode in limousines and we all had all these, these hot chicks with us all the time and, oh, and our Learjet takes us everywhere. It, it's pretty cool to think of and these guys are doing it. He's just one of a kind, and I don't think there will ever be anybody like him, ever. You know, in some ways, he transcends the business. His legacy will also be probably what not to do with the business in some ways, right? I use Rick as an example sometimes with young, young talent of like, well, you can have it all and end up in a really precarious spot. sacrificed friends, family, you know, and, and made people's careers. Wrestling was his lady. Wrestling was his love. That was his number one love. And I might be out of line saying this, but in my opinion, it still is. On the hip, feeling, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, woo, just flying, set up again, they call the How do you want people to remember you when you're gone? Um, when I'm gone. You know, it's easy to say you want to be thought of as the best father that ever lived, but I wasn't. And I certainly wasn't the best husband. So I guess I'll just have to settle for wanting to be thought of as the greatest wrestler and the most entertaining wrestler that ever lived. Nature Boy!